Hi guys, this is Mary from Cards TV, and I am so excited today. I finally got time to use my new Bind It All, and I made this little toilet paper roll album. Now, I haven't had time to decorate it yet, just the front, but I am just thrilled to death with my Bind It All. These are toilet paper rolls, and you may have seen these before. I think I've done a tutorial before on the toilet paper roll album. But this one is for Christmas, and I flattened my toilet paper rolls and covered them with paper and uh, put this little uh, top note in red and then in white, and I stamped Merry and Bright in green, and I added a little glitter snowflake using my Martha Stewart snowflake punch, and then I used one of Martha's little uh, red embellishments to go in the center. And I cut out my tags using my new favorite way to make tags with my Sweet Treats cartridge. But each one of the pages has a tag. You can decorate these on both sides. You can add photographs. You can uh, do some journaling about family traditions. You can put little poems or sayings about Christmas. Uh, same way with your tags on the inside, and you can do your tags on the front and the back. And this makes just the sweetest little gift. And I've tied some ribbon on the end of my tags. Uh, you can also tie a few little ribbons along the binding if you want to, and I may do that later. I haven't decided yet. But to cut my little top note piece on the front, I use the storybook cartridge. And you'll find that on page 68. It's the one that says Once Upon a Time. And I cut the accent black out. I cut it in red at two inches and white at an inch and a half and then stamped it. And to cut my tags, I used the Sweet Treats cartridge. And this time I used the tag on page 47. I had used a wider tag out of here for my little reindeer food bags but this is the tag on page 47 the one with the little gift and I cut this tag in red at four and a half and then I cut the topper I also cut it in green and I cut the topper in my different printed material also at four and a half but I'm going to show you what you can do with your toilet paper rolls now they're all different widths so you need to get a ruler and measure your toilet paper roll. And this one is four and three eighths. You need six inches to go around your toilet paper roll. And then you wanna cut your paper the width of your toilet paper roll. And I used this uh, Zig two-way glue pen and this is the chunky one. And this does get a little messy, but you wanna work as quick as you can and just spread it out all the way to the edges and put some in the middle and then you're gonna center your toilet paper roll along the edges And in the center of your paper and then just fold your paper over and this is very easy to do also a little tip to flatten your toilet paper rolls see there you go it's all covered um, I've discovered that you can put your toilet paper rolls I put two at a time in between the plates and run it through my big shot you could also do it with your cuddle book and it flattens them really nicely if you don't have a big shot or a cuddle bug, just uh, go ahead, flatten your toilet paper rolls by hand, you know, crease them with a ruler or a bone folder, and then lay several really heavy books on them. And you may have to leave them a couple of days, but that'll flatten them nicely too. And if it's still not as flat as you like after you've covered it, you can run it through the cuddle bug or the big shot again. That also helps adhere your glue. Also, if you don't have a bind at all, and I didn't until just recently, uh, this is one I did using a binder ring a while back. 
and I just punched holes in it with a crocodile and put some binder rings in there and then tied some ribbons on there. You can get uh, binder rings either in three quarters or an inch size. These came from Office Depot. Sometimes Walmart will have them. But you just take your crocodile and I use the big end. If you don't have a crocodile, you can use a heavy duty hole punch, but just punch one thickness at a time and you'll have to make sure and line it up. But on this, I just punched my holes. And it's up to you if you want to set an eyelet or not. If you want to set an eyelet, go ahead and put your eyelet in. And flip your crocodile over. Let's see what I've got this on. Okay. And just set your eyelet. See that one all the way through. I've got another one here I'll do. And if you wanted to, rather than the binder rings, you could even run ribbon through here. Okay, and just do that to all four of your toilet paper rolls. And then you just take your binder ring and run through each one and close it. And then you can tie your ribbons on there. But it works just as well as the bind it all. It's just, this bind it all is new for me, and I'm just crazy about it. I just love it. And uh, if you don't have sweet treats to do this type of tag, you could also use uh, any of your cartridges that have a tag. Uh, you may have to experiment to get the right size to fit inside your toilet paper rolls. But I do know if you have tags, bags, boxes, and more, and this is for you, Linda. I know you just got it. Uh, a, a four and a half will fit in here of most tags. But there it is, guys. You can keep it for yourself or give it as a gift. But I just think it's adorable. And it's a good way to recycle, too. Well, you guys have a great day. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.